Hello, in this session I am going to solve the some numericals on Beltrell's velocity ratio. Example 1. An engine is driving a generator by means of a belt. The pulley on the driving shaft has a diameter of 55 cm and runs at a 276 rpm. If the radius of the pulley on the generator is 15 cm, find its speed in rpm. Here, engine is a driving a system and generator is a driven system and engine uh, connected that whatever the pulley is there that is the driving pulley and the uh, pulley connected to a generator that is a driven pulley and here the diameter of the driving uh, pulley is given that is a 55 centimeter and its speed is also given and the radius of the driven pulley is given 15 centimeter and we have to find its speed and here Driving pulley diameter is given D1 is equal to 55 cm, driving pulley speed N1 is equal to 276 rpm, generator is equal to D1 system, therefore D1 pulley radius is given that is R2 is equal to 50 cm, therefore the diameter is given as 2 into R2 that is equal to 2 into 50 that is 30 cm driven pulley diameter. What to find here? Driven shaft speed we have to find out that is a N2 is the driven pulley speed we should find that here for the solution we have the velocity ratio of the belt drive velocity ratio of the belt drive is given by a driven uh, pulley speed to the driving speed pulley is equal to driving uh, pulley diameter to the driven pulley diameter that is n2 by n1 is equal to d1 by d2 therefore here this whatever the uh, N, N2 is there that need to find out to find that one N2 can be given as D1 by D2 that is D1 by D2 into N1 into N1 we can have therefore that is equal to 55 by 30 D1 is 55 D2 is 30 into 276 N1 therefore N2 is equal to driving uh, driven fully speed can be given as 506 rpm this is the driven shaft, driven pulley speed. I will solve the another numerical as example 2. In an open belt drive running in the clockwise direction, the open belt drive is there, it is running on the clockwise direction. The tension in the tight side is 3000 Newton and the arc of contact is 150 degree. If the coefficient of friction is 0.3, find the tension on the slack side of the belt here the open belt drive is the tension on the on the tight side is given and arc of contact and coefficient of friction are both given we have to find the tension on the slack side for that the given data is what are they the tension on the tight side is equal to t1 is equal to 3000 newton arc of contact that is theta is equal to 150 degree coefficient of friction that is a mu uh, 0.3 what to find here the tension on slack side that is a t2 we need to find out for that the first thing what we have to do here the angle of contact whatever is there in the degree that we how to convert in terms of the radius in order to use in the equations therefore that degree the theta is converted in terms of the radians how it is converted that one the theta in degree multiplied with a pi by 180 it is multiplied with the pi by 180 then we will have in terms of the radians that is a 2.62 radians we got from this one that is a 150 degree angle that is the angle of contact we know that the ratio of tensions is given by the for the open belt drive the ratio of tensions is given by the equation as a t1 by t2 is equal to e raised to mu theta where the t1 is the tension on the tight side t2 is the tension on the slack side mu is the coefficient of friction theta is the angle of contact in terms of the radians and then again the t1 by t2 is equal to these values if you substitute e raised to 0.3 coefficient of friction 2.62 theta in radians then this calculation we got here that is the t1 by t2 is equal to 2.1946 and rearranging this above equation the t2 we need to find out then rearranging this equation for t2 then t2 is equal to t1 by 
T2 is equal to T1 by 2.1946. Therefore, the T1 value, the 3000 if you substitute, that is T1 value in this equation. And T2 is equal to 3000 by 2.1946. Therefore, the T2 we got that is 1367.9 Newton. Okay. This is the tension on the slack side, whatever is it, that we got that is 1367.9 Newton. Okay, the, these uh, two simple numericals I have solved. The sum numericals I will solve in the next session. Thank you and uh, watch uh, my further videos. Thank you.